In this video, let's create this motion graphics in friction. Let's open up a scene and give it 50 frames. Now I'll zoom out. Select the circle tool, press Ctrl and Shift and draw a perfect circle. Center it on the scene. Now remove the stroke and add a fill. I'll make an orangish color. Now right click and duplicate the circle. And for the duplicated one, let's add a raster blur effect. And go down and increase the blur of that. Now I have selected an image from freepick.com and I will import it here. Select the image and place it in the middle of the scene and give it an overlay mode. Now you can see there's a nice effect going on. Let's lock these layers and create a text layer and type in something. I'll give it 250 and change the font and the thickness. Make sure to center align it and place it in the middle of the canvas. Now go to spacing and increase the letter spacing a bit. Select the text tool and type in some other subtext. I'll reduce the size and change its content. Now control D to duplicate. Bring it down and let's change the text and the properties. Now select both of them and control G to group it. Promote it to a layer as well. Bring it a slightly bit down. Now let's create the animation for the main text. Select the text and go to a position you like. And I want the cinematic text to be in the same position at this point. So go to transform and under Y add a keyframe. So at this point, the Y will be like this and go to zero and make it a bit downwards. So from zero, it will be at down and at the other point, it will move upward. And do the same for the opacity. Add a keyframe and make it zero in the zeroth frame and in the 15th frame, make it 100%. You can drag the keyframe to adjust the timing. Now select the keyframe and Ctrl C to copy it and go to another place and Ctrl V to paste it. Now we have a duplicate keyframe. So both of these will have the same effect. Now at another point I want the spacing to be zero. Add a keyframe at this point and at the other point make it zero. So if you play back you will see it will become zero from that point onwards. Now if you play back you can see the animation. You can play with the, the timings by adjusting the keyframe. Let's remove the overall to 40 frames actually. Now let's select this and let's add in another keyframe for that as well. 
at this point I want it to be visible and at this point I want it to be slightly below and the opacity to be zero so add a keyframe to the opacity and make it zero and at this point make it hundred now you can see it becomes visible let's add some more text as well Control d to duplicate the layer now place it in the middle of the scene let's adjust the content modify it do the same again Control d to duplicate and place it in the corner you can adjust the exposition okay I'll rename it now now if you play back you can see all the animations are applied for the duplicated objects as well now let's move on these animations so go to the transform where you have animated it and under transform click that icon and click the graph editor now you will see we have this under the graph editor and you can see it's a linear transition from that point to that point now we want to make it a little bit elastic and make it slower at the end select that point and make it symmetric now you can see it's a bit slower at the end of the animation we'll do this for other animations as well so I'll toggle it again now let's check the other layer text layer and we have a Y animated use your middle click to move around now you can make it symmetric as well and do this for the other ones too select it and make it symmetric select them and make it symmetric I think I missed for the line the letter spacing animation so let's fix it as well you can toggle the graph editor anytime you want to so under spacing select that and now on the graph editor you have this it's a minor change so you will see a straight line control and roll down the mouse wheel to zoom in now you can see the difference now select the node and make it symmetric as well now you can see we have a nice effect going on and for the original circle let's add another effect finally go to effects and under path effects special displays now you can see it looks like a blob the circle looks like a blob go to that effect and add a keyframe and I'll adjust the deviation max deviation at certain points you can play around with these values to get a desired result Okay, now if you press the spacebar, you can preview the animation. Now let's render this. Go to render and the scene, give it an output of an MP4 and we don't need the audio. And let's render this. And that's how you create this simple animation in Friction. 
Hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Thanks for watching.